everyone so today i'm starting off my disney series so i'm first going in and i've prepped already prepped my eyebrows and my eyelashes with the charlotte grant castor oil i am now going in with the charlotte grant translucent brow soap you all know how much i rave about this product can't do my makeup without it now it's literally a godsend so what you want to do is just spray in the brow soap with any setting spray or water, it doesn't really matter. Get the soap nice and ready and then you just want to go in with your spoolie and drag it through the brow hairs. As you can see here, I then go in with my finger and just press my brow hairs down. So today I'm going in with my Be Perfect eyeshadow primer. I have been using this recently as well as the P. Louise base. But I do really like this for more of my soft glam looks because it isn't as full heavy coverage it's really light on the skin so to go in with this i am using the molly o'brien tory brush just making sure that you've got an even layer of the eyeshadow primer all over the eye and blend it out towards the edges So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I'm just taking a generous amount of this all on my eyes as I do like to blow it out towards my temples and I like the majority of it on my eyelid. So I do like to cover the um, eyeshadow base with this concealer for this sort of look as with my soft glam looks I just feel like it ties the skin together. So I'm just buffing out that concealer with the Molly O'Brien Friend Brush going in small circular swiping motions this doesn't have to be too neat as it is only a base before we put the eyeshadow on. So now I'm just going back in with the Be Perfect Primer on a Molly O'Brien Jade brush and just stamping out towards the front of my eye, creating a nice light shade towards the front. So one out of the two palettes I'm using today is the Be Perfect Clientele palette. I think this is my go-to soft glam palette at the moment. I'm absolutely loving every single shadow in there. So the first shadow I'm going in with from the Clientele palette is Dirty Tan on a Doll Beauty DB5 brush. Just doing this sp so <laughs> small circular motions, dragging it everywhere where I put the concealer except the front of my eye. I'm then going in with the, I think it's A... Asia or Asha eyeshadow from the palette on a Doll Beauty DB7 brush just stamping out where we put the primer at the front of the eye creating a really nice light soft effect as once we've done the nose contour you'll see that it will just tie everything in together Now taking the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival XL palette, I'm taking the shade Make Waves on a Molly O'Brien Talia brush. So this is just to smoke out the lower lash line and it's obviously bringing in the blue. I absolutely love the smoky lash line effect as I just think it looks a lot more subtle and sultry and it's not too harsh for obviously this type of soft glam look. And then going in with a Molly O'Brien Emily brush to further smoke out that lash line. Mascara I'm using is my all-time fave Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. But as I always say, it doesn't really matter what mascara I use. This is just one I tend to grab. But I do then go in with my Doll Beauty Lash Curlers. I think lash curlers is something that not everyone uses. But it is actually quite an important step to your makeup. As you will find that it will tie in with your fake lashes. And you won't really really be able to see them as much as you would because i know with a lot of my clients that their lashes tend to stick forward and haven't got a natural curl so a little trick is to get yourself a pair of these bad boys <laughs> 
the lashes that I'm using today are Doll Beauty Jasmine. These are a really nice lash if you want something that's not too full and dramatic, but it's still got that bit of like oomph, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's got a really nice full fluffy curl, but it isn't too overpowering on the eye. So now just to add in some brow strokes, I'm going in with the Illamasqua Brow Cake in the shade Thunder. For this I'm using a Molly O'Brien Millie brush. This brush is the perfect brush for your brows. It's really thin and small so it enables you to get the most perfect natural like hair strokes. I feel like with this you can't really tell that I have drawn in some tiny little hairs into my brows. It just looks really natural. Now I wanted the waterline really blue so that's why I've chosen to go in with the P. Louise Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in the shade Nitro. For this I'm using the Molly O'Brien Talia brush again. As you can see it's just a really nice full brush so it's easy to get in the eye and it doesn't bother me too much as I have got really sensitive eyes and I do find that with some brushes the bristles do usually stab and poke me but with this one the bristles are so soft I can't even feel it. So just to get a nice even coverage under my eye, I'm going in first with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Macadamia on a Molly O'Brien Gracie brush. This also helps me to get that winged out shape towards the side, so that's why I always like to do under my eyes before foundation. I have actually lost the footage for this but from the rest of it that I do have I'm just going back in with that Make Wave shadow from the Stacey Marie palette on a Molly O'Brien Gracie brush just buffing this out underneath my eye. I'm now prepping the skin with the Embrilles Lacrete Concentrate Moisturiser I think that's how you say it totally botched that up but this is the best concealer. If you haven't tried it, please do. It is quite pricey, but it's so worth it. Leaves your skin feeling like butter. So once I've moisturised, I then like to go back in with the Superdrug Vitamin E Hydrating Spray. You all know how much I rave about this as well. I cannot do my makeup without it as it just leaves my skin feeling really nice and hydrated and plumped. My number one favourite foundation at the minute is NARS Radiant Longwear as you all know and I am buffing this in the skin with a Molly O'Brien pea brush. Then going back in with that L'Oreal Infallible Concealer that we used at the start, I'm using this as my cream contour. Honey is a really nice shade and it's really versatile as well for a lot of clients as you'll find that it does actually work on quite a few different skin tones. So I just like to buff this in with a PC25. You want to take tiny amounts of this concealer as it does go a lot a really long way. Um, and I've also found that using like a quite dense packing brush you will get the effect of a nicely slim seamless contour I cannot talk for the life of me for this voiceover <laughs> for my favourite part in makeup at the minute is nose contour I am taking a Doll Beauty DB8 brush and a Doll Beauty DB6 brush these are my two main perfect brushes for nose contour at the minute I absolutely cannot live without them as you can see, it has blended that concealer perfect. And like I said at the start, you can just see how the nose contour was tied in with the eyeshadow as well. Now I'm taking the Anyway Cosmetics Tiger Lily Cream Blush on a Molly O'Brien Daz brush. That was such a tongue twister. So if you haven't used a cream blush before, I really recommend you doing so. Especially if you're not a blush lover, because I feel like this will make you a blush lover blush is really important and i do know like how many people don't use blusher in the makeup routine but it really does just tie the skin all together especially with a soft glam look <music> now 
Now we all know that I love a super bright under eye at the minute and I just can't wait to splurge out on this heart shape con concealer but for now the revolution one will have to do. I will find that this is probably like it though as a lot of people said it is a cheaper alternative. So this is the shade C2 and I am going in with a DB3 brush to buff this into the skin. To set the skin, I'm going in with my Holy Grail powder, which you all know is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And now let me tell you about this brush. Oh my god, this brush. So this brush is a P. Louise 662 Deep With My Contour brush. And oh my god, how have I not had this brush sooner? This is my absolute favourite brush now for um, going in and baking with and setting with my translucent powder because it just bl like glides this can't even speak because it's that good it glides the powder on the skin so effortlessly and so seamlessly I just I can't even cope and the bristles of the brush are so soft as well you all need this brush <laughs> To set my contour, I am going in with the OG MAC Dark Tan Bronzer on a Molly O'Brien Arabella brush. This brush is really nice for your contour as it is nice and sharp and angled. So going in with my nose contour with the MAC Dark Tan Minimalized skin finish. I am just using a Doll Beauty DB12 brush. So now I'm going in with the Jordana Tisha Fruit Punch blush. This is on a DB10 brush. This is a really nice blusher as it does have a little bit of a highlight shift in it, and I do feel like it adds that extra glow into the skin. And it also looks nice in when the highlighter's on. It just ties everything together so effortlessly. So in between all your powders, you want to make sure that you're constantly spraying your hydrate mist as you will find that it will just melt the products into the skin like butter. So now for the star of the show, I'm going in again with the Jordana Tisha Glass Slipper Face and Sparkle. This highlighter is amazing. So for the face part of the highlighter, I like going in with my finger and just pressing this into the skin as it is a cream like product. And then I will go in with the highlighting powder on the Doll Beauty DB4 brush. Now I'm just taking the Be Perfect Glitter Topper in the shade Stars on a Doll Beauty 15 brush, putting this on my inner corners just to give that nice little sparkle and I also take it on my brow bone as well just for a nice little sparkly highlight on the brow bone. My Ride or Die Lip Combo at the minute is the Morphe Sweet Tea Liner and the Doll Beauty Sponsored Lip Gloss. So here you can see, as with every other IGTV, these are the only two things I am using at the minute because I'm an absolute sucker for a nude lip and I have just found my favourite combo other than MAC Cork and MAC Yash with a Peaches and Cream Lip Gloss.